Kemata Peak in Hawke's Bay is one of the region's most popular tourist attractions, but it's becoming embroiled in controversy after a track was cut into its eastern face. Māori law says the land is the final resting place of Ronald Kako, grandfather of Ngāti Kahununu's founder. Craggy Range Winery purchased land opposite its Havelock North Winery for the track, intending to gift it to the community. But local iwi were horrified at the jagged lines cut into the mountain. The track is going to be removed. But Waimarama Kaumatua Robert McDonald says Māori are being blamed for the winery's decision to remediate the damage when, in fact, it was threat of High Court action from the Environmental Defence Society that motivated the winery's decision. They had a very good case to take to the High Court. And I think that uh, that's where they're being a bit economical with the truth. The land was controversially acquired from Māori by the government in the 19th century and some of the western slope donated to the community by the Chambers family in 1927. McDonnell says the track incident is another example of Pākehā asking for forgiveness instead of prior conversation. I spoke to them at a meeting and said, well, it's, you know, when you want us to come and do a, you've got a grand opening and you've got all the visitors in the world there and you want a few Māori people to run around and jump up and down, it's easy to find us. But when you want to do something, it's easy to find, you know, to sort of lose us somewhere in the, you know, and then to turn around and say, well, look, we, oh, we're so sorry. Craggy Range Winery declined to respond to McDonald's comments, saying no media statements would be made until a report on track mitigation is complete. The track has been a PR disaster for the winery and an apparent failure of the Resource Management Act under which it was approved. It should have been publicly notified. It should have, the, the Tomato Park is uh, an area that is loved by the whole of the region, the whole of the nation. And that was enough to ensure that we made sure we talked to the community and that's where we failed. So th just being aware of the wider issues and being aware of the important relationships that we have with our whole community, uh, that is where we are going to improve. Clearly there is work to be done, with a Tanoyo based hapu taking the council to the Environment Court this week to protect significant sites. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.